This is Brian with Superman's Comics, and in this video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos, so please consider subscribing. Also, make sure you tune in live every Thursday night at 9 p.m. as we recap the week's hottest comic book releases in the CBSI Bolo Show. And with that being said, let's head over to the computer, and I'll show you guys my picks. We kick this week off with Wired number three. Once upon a time in Los Angeles, Wired goes on a bender with the ghost of a dead celebrity. A serial killer's on the loose. It's supposed to be his day off, but Wired has to solve the case anyway. We have a regular cover by Antonio Fuso, but there's also a regular price variant by Gabrielle Del Otto. A lot of people love Del Otto, so that's the one I'm gonna be picking up. Batman and the Outsiders number one here. Batman calls on Black Lightning and his team of operatives to help him out on his missions. There's going to have three different covers for it. There's a regular Tyler Kirkham cover, regular priced variant, and a regular priced blank variant. Batman Who Laughs number five. It's the battle to the death as Batman goes head to head with the Grim Knight. We have a regular cover by Jock. There's also a regular priced variant by Victor Kalvachev. Catwoman number 11. In this issue, Catwoman wonders what she truly is, and the Creel family are marshalling the resources to make a return to Villa Hermosa. We have a regular cover by Joel Jones. There's also a regular price variant by Art Germ. Detective Comics 1003. Damien was so certain he could succeed against the Arkham Knight where his father failed. Not only was he wrong, but as it turns out, the Knight has a surprising plan for the son of Batman. We have a regular cover by Brad Walker and Andrew Hennessy, and a regular price variant by Mark Brooks. I like the Mark Brooks cover on this one, so I'm going to pick that up. Flash number 70. This is going to start the year one story arc for Flash. We have a regular Howard Porter cover and a regular price variant by Tony Infante. Red Hood Outlaw number 34. Jason Todd heads to France to expand the Iceberg Lounge's sphere of influence, or are his motives more ambitious? Meanwhile, the Penguin gains an unexpected ally in his bed to topple the Red Hood. We have a regular cover by Cully Hamner, and there's a regular price variant by Yasmin Putri. I really like the Putri cover, so I'm going to be picking that up. Wonder Woman number 70. Wonder Woman, Steve Trevor, and Aphrodite have found Aphrodite's son, but in order to talk to him, they're going to have to get through a flying army of attack cherubs. There's a regular cover by Terry Dotson, but what I like is the regular price variant by Jenny Friesen. Eve Stranger number one. This comes from IDW's Black Crown imprint. You have unlimited funds, a jet set lifestyle, and extraordinary abilities, and your bloodstream is filled with nanobombs. The contents of a syringe will deactivate them for a week and also wipe your memory. So what happens when you develop a sneaking suspicion that you're actually working for the bad guys? As a regular cover by Philip Bond, there is also an incentive variant for this. Excellence number one. This is a new series from Image Comics. Spencer Dales was born into a world of magic. His father belongs to a secret society of black magicians ordered by their unseen masters to better the lives of others. Those with greater potential, but never themselves. Now, it's time for Spencer to follow in his father's footsteps, but all he sees is a broken system in need of someone with the wand and the will to change it. But in this fight for a better future, who will stand beside him? There's a regular cover by Carrie Randolph. There's also a regular price variant by Carrie Randolph. Ice Cream Man number 12. A long time from now, Captain Noah Smith floats through space aboard his re-civilization capsule, searching for a fertile planet upon which to rebuild Earth. But out there in the dark vacuum, he finds something else. There's a regular cover by Martin Morazzo. There's also a regular price Tula Latte variant. <laughs> Captain America number 10. This contains the Captain of Nothing story arc. A prison riot is the best possible cover to break Captain America out of confinement. But what if the man doesn't want to go? We have a regular cover by Alex Ross. There's also a regular price as Guardian variant by Dave Johnson. I actually like both these covers, so I'm going to try to pick both of them up. 
Conan the Barbarian number six. If you aren't reading this book by Jason Aaron, you're definitely missing out on a great story. In this issue, Conan signs on for soldiers' work, gold, wine, and warfare. But the barbarian skills will draw him directly into the Crimson Witch's scheme as she drags King Conan to the altar of death god Razazel. There's a regular cover by Asad Ribic. There's also a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Julian Tatino Tedesco. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man number 6. This issue may or may not be worth picking up. They are introducing a new character in Spider-Man's little mini-me called Spider-Bite. There's a regular cover by Andrew C. Robinson. There's also a regular price Battle Lines variant. Who knows if Spider-Bite will turn out to be any major character, but hey, it's been a fun story to read. Pick it up. It's only going to cost you $4. may pay off in the long run. Marvel's Annotated number 3. This celebrates the 25th anniversary of Marvel's. In there, Galactus arrives to consume Earth and Fantastic Four, and Fantastic Four must rise to stop him. Phil must come to grips with the possibility of Armageddon and decide what really matters. It's packed with extras and completely remastered. It's got three different covers for it. There's a regular Alex Ross cover. There's a regular Alex Ross Virgin variant and a regular priced Gabriel Del Auto variant. I I like all the covers, but out of all three, I really like the Gabriel Del Auto. In fact, I love that cover art so much, it's going to be my pick of the week. Savage Sword of Conan number five. This is another great Conan story. This one's written by Jerry Dugan. It has a regular cover by Alex Ross, and there is an incentive variant by Muhammad Azrar. Symbiote Spider-Man number two. In this issue, Mysterio, after swallowing another loss against Spider-Man, has sworn vengeance upon the web slinger. He recruits another villain to enlisting the aid of an impressionable Hollywood stuntman to take on Spider-Man. Mysterio is dead set on ending Webhead once and for all. This has got four different covers. There's a regular Greg Land cover, regular price of Battle Lines variant, regular price Ron Lim variant, and a 1 in 25 incentive variant. War of the Realms New Agents of Atlas number one. This is going to be the key issue this week. Marvel's introducing three new characters in Luna Snow, Crescent, and Io. There's also four covers for this. There's a regular cover, regular price connecting variant by Giuseppe Camancoli. There's a 1 in 25 incentive variant and a 1 in 50 incentive variant. Key issue, three first appearances, but beware, just this past week, Marvel doubled all retailers' orders for free. Bronze Age Boogie number two. This comes from Ahoy Comics. It contains its 1970s genre mashup as teenage barbarian Britta finds herself transported to 1975 right in the middle of a second Martian invasion. The Savage Shores number four. This comes from Vault Comics. This is absolutely one of my most favorite series to read right now. In this issue, the shadow of war is cast over the land where people and promises are broken alike. The smell of blood calls to beasts. Now is the time of monsters along these savage shores where hope is folly and fortune is the lie of a cruel whim. It's a double whammy this week from Vault Comics as we also get Wasted Space number nine. This is the penultimate issue to the second story arc. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth the read. I have the floppies. I even just picked up the trade for the first volume. Can't wait to read this issue. Really looking forward to it. Highly recommend this series to everyone. So there it is, guys. Those are my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, May 8th, 2019. As always, comment down below. Let me know what books you guys are picking up. Question of the day. Who is your favorite comic book publisher? And with that, this is Brown with Superman's Comics. And I'll see you guys next week. Yeah.